scusa. Hi. What are you doing in my room, eh? What's up with that? Hey, how you doing? Uh, listen, uh, I didn't want to disturb you, but uh, <laughs> good morning. Listen, I've got a package for you. It's right here. It's all wrapped up in paper. A package. What you just bust into Fanny's room for with a package? Well, it's meant exactly for you. No one else. No one else. And I was told to hand uh. deliver it. All right. Who's it from? It's from Marl. And don't open it. He specifically said, don't open it. Don't read it. You get me? That's what I'm saying. Don't open it. He also said that this is a book. And it's something that Neloth would be interested in. He knows you're going to see Neloth. He said, if you show him this and tell him you're the dragonborn, he might. I don't know. Help out? Help out? He's not going to fucking help out. Well, if you show him the book, I don't know, maybe he'll hire you or something. Make you some kind of, some kind of mage apprentice, right? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, I'd love to be a mage. <laughs> Mage. What do you want to be a mage for? That's boring, eh? You gotta get into theft, eh? That's what a real money is. And I got this book, and that's why I'm here. So I reckon I ought to get going. Listen, if you like to keep the room, go ahead. It's paid for. Hey, that'd be great. Uh, I'm thinking about hanging out a little bit. Do you have any recommendations? Uh, places you think would be cool to go? Uh, stuff to check out? Uh, you know, that kind of thing? I don't know. I just pretty much stayed in my room here. Yeah? What do you want to go see shit for? Isn't that boring for you? Oh no, I like to see stuff. There's lots of cool things to explore. If you just look, you just gotta look. See, I get around a lot. So I see a lot of stuff, but usually I see it and it's kind of all blurry because I'm running past. So I'm thinking about actually stopping for a little while and checking some stuff out. Hmm. All right, well, <laughs> fine. Knock yourself out and see you later. That is a fucking weird courier. Hey, you want this open or closed? Ah, oh, you can close it. Closed it is. Fucking closed it is. I wonder. Should we get some food for the road? What do you think? Oh, I wonder indeed. Alright, I think I'll do that. Hey. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Hey. Welcome to the Wretching Netch Corner Club. Home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Sue Jammer. What is that? Welcome to the wretching net shop. Oh, I know. I oh, heard you the first time. Take Come on. Step it up. Ooh, apple cabbage stew. I like that. I like it. Yams. You got a lot of people eating yams here. Yeah? They look disgusting, don't they? I'll skip that. What else you got? What is this? What is it? Whew. Oh, it smells. Okay, I'll try it. I gotta try some local shit. Uh, what else? Chowder. Ugh. Don't like chowder. How about you refill my war? Of course. Oh, I appreciate that. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Come back any time. My oh, I just open. might do that. I'm going to sit down and eat here before I head out. Right. What am I going to eat? I'm going to eat a honey nut treat. Apple cabbage stew. I'm going to try this shit right here. Oh! <coughs> 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 uh. Oh, that's disgusting, eh? Real disgusting. Ugh. Well, I reckon I should get ready to go, eh? 
I've got to take this book. Take this book to the man. The man whose crap I'm gonna steal. The man whose crap is gonna be mine sooner or later. Divine smile on you, friend. All right, hitting the road. See you later. Over at the Not shit to do, eh? Shit to do, shit to do. Gotta go to Mushroom Town to find the Mushroom Man. The man who likes the shrooms. I, I like shrooms. Who doesn't, eh? <laughs> All right. In this desolate wasteland, one has to keep his eyes open at all times. That is what I have determined. But I'm telling you... I'm telling you what I like here. You know, what I like is the fact that this place hasn't a single fucking goat. Have you noticed that? Oh, I've noticed it. I'll tell you that. I've noticed it. I'm gonna give this place a wide berth, I think. Give me the fucking whimmies, it does. Fucking whimmies. Oh, what's this up here? Something to be avoided, I would say. So let's go around. And yeah, what's that? Something else to be avoided, I would say. What is it? Oh, he's one of them oppas. Oh, I don't like him. This whole place freaks me out. Look at it. It's all messed up. It's all messed up. Oh, look at these guys. Tell. Everything's hazy here. Yeah? All right, girls, rise and shine. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're so gorgeous. So gorgeous. All right, it's Mushroom Town. Fine. Oh shit, someone's coming, eh? Well, let's nip that shit in a bud, right? Where is it? Oh, look at these guys. Look at these guys. Dumb bastards. Okay, can I make this jump, eh? What? Oh, 
Yeah, mate. It's... <laughs> I'm up here. I'm up here. Oh, look at you. You're all getting pissed. Hey, careful. There's some freaks on me tail. Oh, shit. Got to say, these mushrooms is convenient for traversing, eh? Keeps you up off the ground. Keeps your boots dry. Keeps you out of reach of freaks and whatnot. Look at this. If I was a fella who enjoyed eating mushrooms, this would be a fucking bonanza, eh? Could be right. Okay. This is the place. Now, clearly, i got to go in strutting, right? Like I own a place. That's right. I come here looking for a job, a business partnership of some sort. That's right. I belong here. No question. On account, I got this book. Which, of course, he's going to want to see. And i got to say, I'm the Dragonborn. Oh, I've done that before. No problems. I've got to say, it can be profitable posing as a Dragonborn, even when you're not. you just got to be able to make people think you are, even though you aren't. What am I supposed to do here? Hey! I heard something up there. Hello? Hello? Well, you let down a ladder or something. Hey, <laughs> I got butterflies in my stomach, eh? Hello? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, look at you. Oh, see, I like, I see you like books, eh? Listen, I am an exotic book dealer. That's it. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It would make a fascinating test subject. There is nobody on Nern who could possibly capture a dragon alive. That is a fact. You again? Yes. Didn't I see you in Ravenrock? Yes, she did. The very same orc. That's right. Listen. Uh, I hear you're a connoisseur of black, ugly books what are extra large. I have one of these, but I'm looking for more on account of I am a rare book collector. You refer to the tomes of esoteric knowledge that old Hermaeus Mora has scattered throughout the world? That is correct. Is this somehow connected to your search for Mira? Well, no. I'm just looking for books, eh? I found one black book, and I need to find some more ease. Found one? Yes. And you read it too, didn't you? Of course not. I, to deny it, you've got the look. I can see it now. I think you mistake. Dangerous knowledge is still knowledge and therefore useful. Usually turns out to be the most useful in my experience. <sighs> okay. Listen. I got this book, and I'm looking for more books. Can you help me find these books and notes? I don't know about Ismirak fella, and if he needs stopping or what. I just know that these books are worth some money, and I'd like to collect them. Now that is a dangerous path indeed. Hermaeus Mora gives nothing away for free. You may end up like Mirak, of course. Too power mad Dragonborn. It could be very interesting. Yes, I'm the Dragonborn, of course, and I'm quite power mad. Listen, about the book. Oh, yes. They're not hard to locate once you know how to look for them. I have one here that I've been using to locate more. Oh, is that a fact? You got a black book. Yes, I haven't been idle while this fascinating madness engulfed Solstheim. But my book isn't what you're looking for. I'm quite sure it is unconnected with this Mirak. But I do know where to find a black book that can help you. All right. 
Listen, I don't know how you can just say your black book isn't none of my business. On account I'm a black book collector. However, I will listen to what you have to say. So, you know how to find another one? Where? Yes, I do. I haven't been able to get it, though. But maybe together we can unlock the secrets the Dwemer left behind. Dwemer? <laughs> what would I have to do with this, eh? Forbidden knowledge were somewhat of a specialty of the dwarves, eh? You don't think they would just leave it alone, do you? It seems the ancient Dwemer discovered this book and took it to study. I found their reading room in the ruins of Nachardak. The book is there, but it's sealed in a protective case, which I wasn't able to open. But perhaps the two of us, together, will be able to get at the book. To Nachardak, then. Follow me. All right, it sounds like a good deal. I have a little bit of experience getting locked things open, you see. Uh, as a book collector, I find myself in need of this uh, ability every once in a while. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, bud. <laughs> Let me see ya. I forgot something. Let's go. Alright. Is she coming out? Oh, there he is. He's a tricky old bastard. Alright, so we go into this place called Nachardak. And he's going to show me another book. And I'm going to get it out of a locked case in a boring old reading room, eh? So we're going to an ancient Dwemer library. That's what I would gather from this. Ugh. I really hate the boring jobs. You know... Yards. If I had said, hey, Twist, I want you to take this money in exchange, you're going to go rob a library. I would have said, oh, really? Go fuck yourself. I don't want this money. But now I'm committed, eh? i got to rob a library. Gods. I don't want to get myself into this shit. I was sitting around in me undies, minding my own business. Where are you going? Now through him do we see. Okay, I gotta ask. Do you actually know where the library is? We're just milling around. It would probably make sense if we are now business partners to talk about some kind of contract, right? I mean, I don't go around opening locked things for free. It's not how it's not how my business works. See, I didn't put that in my business plan, like pro bono thief. <laughs> that makes no sense, right? Right? God, he's stubborn. The Dwemer certainly knew how to build for the ages. These towers have outlasted their creators by millennia. Oh shit, we're here. The book is housed inside that dome. I'll need to unlock the door for us. What dome? Let's get on with it. Oh, I see. Great big dome right now. Of course. You cannot best hide. Good job. Now you got him on the ropes. Finish him off, eh? Good job. Oh, look at that shit. This guy's gonna be ended out of a round, eh? Yeah, you better run, eh? What did he say? Did he say Jacob's eyeball? That's a curious thing to say. That's quite a strange battle cry if I've heard one. Jacob's eyeball. Oh, look at these bastards. Let's get you nice and close. What do you say? Nice and close. Watching on. Oh, he's sitting down. Sitting down. What was that? Oh, it was nothing. I knew it. I had to it was a fucking wizard, that's what it was. Damn it. Yeah, you fight him. Tell you what, you take that one as well. Oh, there's another one for you. Off you go. Oh, there's the fourth one. Ah, you're good and busy now. 
Let me go in and do my work. Good and busy. Good and busy, eh? Good and busy. Oh, I'm being good and snaky is what I'm being. Yes, watch what's going on now. Hello. Off you go then. Not got anything good? Oh, look at this. Let me lighten your load a bit. Nice. Who's next on me list? Who's next on me list? Oh, don't look at me, you bastard. Nothing to see here. Oh, this is going to get messy. All right, good chance this pastor's going to see me come in. So, what I got? How about a little of this? Oh, you're going to like that. I will tell you that for sure. You're going to like it. You're going to like what I have for you. You're going to like it. Oh, shit. Ow. That fucking hurts. Does. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Shit. What do we got? I'm getting hit with everything here. Yeah? 50 points of health. Oh, it drains me stamina. Oh, that's the worst. Increase 25. For 6 seconds. Drains target self by 1 point. Oh, my God. Feel as if I'm in real significant trouble. Now, put to me, obviously, vigorous healing. God, that's going to kick me off for a while. Oh, God. All right, here he comes. Come on. Uh, ah, that hurts. All right, hey, jump in the water. <laughs> Ooh, this gets a little relief, anyway. Let's, hang on, hang on. Oh, shit. It's busy around here. What happened to the old man? You get killed? God, I hope not. Hello. Have you? I don't think so. No one's felt worse than me. Because I'm a terrible fighter, eh? <laughs> okay, who's next? Oh, look it, I killed him with me poisons. So you got to keep the old man busy. If I can keep the old man busy, that means I can keep him out of me air and get some work done. Get some actual work done, eh? Now i got to deal with these guys. Which is hard, considering I'm feeling weak as fucking hell right now. Good night. your friend. How about your friend? How about your friend? Hello, friend. Oops. <laughs> oh, shit. I pissed him off. Oh, hello. And in the water. This is not going well. I'm feeling rather weak, if I'm being honest. Okay. Now, he probably thinks, hey, I killed that orc. No problems. Let's take some advantage here. Whew. Okay. Now you can't see me, eh? Where are you? Oh, I don't know. Where am I? Where do you suppose I went? I'm invisible. I'm like a fucking ghost right now. Oops. <laughs> oh, shit. Done it again. Don't fight back. And I promise I'm doing you. a lot of swimming. I wonder how the old man's doing, eh? He's probably doing his spot better than I am. Oh, this guy's the worst. Oh, I got some kind of nasty poison, maybe? Brings a target self by three points per second. Oh, could be nice. I just gotta hit him without getting killed. That's all. Are we ready? Are we ready? 
Which way is he looking? Oh, no, don't come this way, you bastard. Ah, oh, shit. Don't go the other way. There you go. Go look that way. Look at the battle going on over there. Oh, he's moving a lot. There you go. I dosed you. Don't that feel good? Oh, shit. Back in the water. He's lighting me on fire. I'm going to have to take off me furs. Burn to a crisp, eh? Now I got him dosed, but it's working slow, isn't it? Alright. I dosed him. Let's let it do its work. Let's see how the old fella's doing, eh? Hey, everyone dead yet? <laughs> I feel a little bit guilty, but not too much. Oh, hey. Hello. You done it? Hey, that's great. Nice job. Say, I found a door. <laughs> Come here. Come here, what? Hey, listen. You don't want to go that way. All right? There's traps. I've seen them. Trust me. Now, we're over here, this guy is a problem. He's a big problem. Hang on. They're giving me away. Damn it. What have we here? Oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. Come on, old man, I need some help. Yeah, there you go. Let him have it. Oh, shit. <coughs> oh, you're a real help. In we go. All right, we let the old man take care of that too. Still feeling weak, eh? Hey, you swimming too? Oh, great, I can loot this guy without being detected, eh? Look at his shit. Okay. Oh, oh God, I'm feeling a bit better. Hey, how you doing now? All right, is this a place or what? The Dwemer of Nachardak appear to have been fond of these control pedestals. Luckily, I found a cube to operate it inside on my last visit. Cube, don't worry, I can pick I this, right? I can pick it. I left to keep out ignorant meddlers. Shit, I can't pick this. It. Oh, shit. The book is just in sight. Right. Well, I can see how the Dwemer would use a cube for a key. Can't exactly make good picks for that. Can we? Oh shit! Look at this. So tantalizingly close. Oh. But trust me, no magic will open that. I'd have had the book already if it could. Mm. No, we'll have to do this the hard way. If we can restore the steam supply to this room. I'm certain I can open it. As you'll see, that's easier said than done. This way to the boilers. Boilers? Oh, look at that. Follow me. All right, I'm ready. To the boilers. That would be my strategy, right? <laughs> boilers? <laughs> Last time I was here, I only explored a small part of the ruins. I was here alone then, and I find an assistant is absolutely essential for this kind of dirty, dangerous work. Yeah. That's great. Where are we going, eh? Oh, look at this. Nichardak, the city of a hundred towers. In its day, <laughs> it was the largest of the great and Dwemer archives. And perhaps the most advanced. In the old stories, when the Nords came to conquer it, it said that Dwemer submerged the entire city beneath the sea 
until the invaders gave up. Wow. I have my doubts, but the city was a marvel of Dwemer engineering. I now believe it. To this. Hey, you got some As cubes, see, eh? Most of the lower levels of the city are flooded, but it isn't hopeless. The old Dwemer pumps still seem to work. Watch. All right, I'm watching. I don't see nothing. Oh, shit, look at that. Unfortunately, only have one kill. These four boilers provide steam to the room upstairs. They're shot down, but they still respond to the control cubes. Right. So, if we can find four more cubes, we can turn these boilers back on and restore steam power to the room upstairs. All right. So then where do we start, I eh? be able to open the book's protective case. Bring that cube. We'll need it. All right, thank God it's... Yes, here we are. This device shows the location of oh. four more cubes in it's this section up. of the city. Oh, it okay. looks like Never most mind. of the cubes were moved to the lower levels, perhaps to try to control the flooding before the city was abandoned. All right, go on, it's hot in here. Interesting. That would suggest that the city must have originally sunk during the first cataclysm of Red Mountain. First cataclysm? Or that the Dwemer's servitors continued to try to preserve the city after their creator's disappearance. I thought there was only one cataclysm. Three of the cubes are through here. This seems like a sensible place to start. All right, let's go get him, eh? I hope you remembered to pick up the cube I I did. So much chatter. Just shut your face for a minute and let me think. Guts. Jibber jabber constantly. This is fine. But knowing a dwemer, I rather doubt it. Right. Right. Draw them out here so I can get behind them. Deep like that. All right. If you're not going to look at them, I'm going to look at them, eh? Oh, look at this. Oil, gems, shit, man. You gotta look inside them. That's what a good saw. Right. Now hang on here. Let me check it out. These must be the great world oh, of Nachada. Impressive, even in ruins. Oh, look at this stuff. Ooh. In the city's days of glory. It was reputed to be able to assemble a complete automaton in a single day. Yep. Much of the Dwemer's army, the Battle oh. of Red Mountain, must have come from here. Hey, I found another one. How do you get it? I can't fit me hand through here. Oh shit, am I going to get wet? It looks like we'll need to lower the water then. Make any more progress. No, we don't want any more. All right, I'm coming. Now of a water level. Want that? Oh, good. Now we can see if we can find a way to get that next. Oh, hey, look at that. What was that? Oh, shit. Oh, hey, got the stairs working, eh? <laughs> He's fucking busy, right? Look at him, he's, he's real busy right now. Oh! Surprise! Oh, see, look at that. Coming around. Alright, cleared. Come on, can we get to business, eh?
trying to make a leap and I run my head into that thing on the top there. Okay, how many cubes we got? I don't remember. Uh, we got one for this. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh shoot. Thought I was going to get crushed. Come on. Oh, there's loot. I can feel it. <laughs> it's loot. It's got to be. Come on, girls. Let's go get him out. Come on. Right in here. Oh, look at you, beauty. I got it. I got it. What's that? What's happening? What's happening? Oh, shit. I saw them spider things. Hello. <laughs> gotcha. Shuts down the corresponding pumps, what? The Who? Hey, wizard guy. Could use some help here. Yeah. Hang on. Hang on. Shh. The spiders. They're bad. Especially the electrifying ones, right? Ooh. <laughs> oh. They pop with some force, they do. Okay, what you got? You got a gem. That's fine. I would like to see some more valuable shit. Oh, come on. Oh, hey, look at this. Is there another cube in here? No. Ooh, but there's a chest. All right. <coughs> All right, it'll crack me knuckles. Here we go. We want to tickle this lock. And we want to get the goods. Look at that. No fight. No fight at all. What's this? Alright, fine. Some lockpicks. I like that. I think it's sort of ironic when you find lockpicks inside locked boxes. But I'll take it. Okay. <clears throat> Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Hey, you flooded the place. Come on. Oh, he's making me swim, the bastard. Oh, God. You know, you're a real cock, you know? You could have waited. Let's see where this leads. Oh, shit. Sorry, party's over, it's blocked. See, look it. No one could possibly do that. There's a passage up there. We could reach it if the water level was higher. Oh. oh, yeah. I know what you're thinking. More swimming, eh? Fine. Swimming wreaks havoc with me gear. I don't like it. Okay, how deep is it going to get? Oh, it's not getting deep at all. I mean, it's like taking out. Oh, you idiot. Twist, come on. What fucking thief worth his salt? Doesn't understand how ancient Dwemer pumps work, eh? <laughs> it's ridiculous. With the water level this high, we can swim across the collapsed part. Of oh, the shut up! You even sock underwater. Side. Underwater sock and bastard is what he is. Oh, look at that! Now, if you would stay back here and let me handle this, it would be fine. Now, stay here. All right. Just me and me girls, we're going to go take care of this, and you're going to stay. Stay. Let a thief do his thing. Stop. Where'd he go? Shit. Come on, you creep. Fine. All right, we'll do it your way. Nice and hard, like. But you're going to deal with these guys. I am going to take you for a ride. Thank you very much. And I'm off. Okay, so, if I was a nasty beast, a metal beast, who had just gotten done killing a mage, I might decide to come around this way. Because, perhaps, I'm checking to see if there's more idiots in here. Now, of course, what I'm not going to find is an idiot 
I'm going to find a very smart oak who set some traps in advance. Oh, ghost. Don't you fucking look at me. Go kill the mage. That should be your first order of business. Killing the mage. One, two. Quick as you like. By my count, we've found a total of four cubes. Assuming you haven't dropped anything. Is someone there? Ah, uh, here comes the big boy. Look out. Hey, you're welcome on a big guy, by the way. Come on. I'm making me nice, Dolly, huh? Alright, you got this. You got it. Oh shit, now, don't step on the untrap. Oh, look at that. Oil. Look at these. I can't decide if that's valuable. Just looks heavy, right? It's the sort of thing that's only valuable if you can sell it to the right pinhead. All right, it's safe. Koja, where are you? Where do you go? Whatever. Hey. You're holding your knife upside down, eh? What, you gotta cut some bread with that? Mages. They're all crazy. All right, what's next, eh? Who's up next? Oh, shit. We've got to drain the water. Oh, that doesn't do that. Where'd he go? Oh, God. Creepy guy. Hang on. More swimming. Too much of this swimming, eh? Can I put them on this? Or is this where we come from, eh? Oh, I'm all turned around. Twist is all turned around, eh? We just gotta go back through that door. We're done, right? We got them all. Okay. Well, I'm soaked already anyway. May well continue to be soaked. Look at this. Is this shit worth anything at all? That's some seriously large coinage, eh? How'd you fucking carry those around in your pouch? Oh, hey, look. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, here we go. Alright. We've done that part. So what's next, eh? We've got to put it back in here. The one in here. All right, pump away, let's go. Unveil the riches, here they come. Riches, riches. Riches. No riches. Something's happening. Good boy. <laughs> Good boy. Let's do something here. What you say? Gods. You better run, old man. Alright, well, let's do this. You keep them distracted. And I will attack from behind. Oh shit, they're coming this way. Oh shit, everyone's on me back. Hang on. What's 
percent mean? Trip. Nice basic trip for you. Oh, that didn't work for shit. How about we try one here? Where the old man go? Oh, he's over there fighting some shit. And this is a, a trap placement issue, eh? Look at this. He can't see me. These are tomatons. Dumb as shit, I guess. Let's try here. Look at that. He goes right over it, eh? No problems. No damage. Nothing. What's that? Alright. Well, I guess it's it's alright. Oh, that hurts. Yeah, and I'm gonna cover me back with one, eh? Nice and basic, like. All right, good luck coming down here, you bastard. I'm huh. gonna sneak behind you. There you go. Have a sit. Look at this one. I think something's wrong with his... Uh, I don't know. His brain manifold. Hi. Is that what it is? Hello. I'm just going to wail on you. There you go. Well, where'd he go now? Bloody hell. Uh, hang on. Whoa! Hey, something's going on up there. I'm going in. Hang on. Ooh, look at the shoe. Right. Oh, look at him. I recognize you, right? If they didn't try to kill everything on site. All right, ladies and gentlemen, suspend disbelief. It is shadeling. Okay, it is not Mer Mercurio, or whatever the fuck his name is. So, what we're going to do... Is he is going to follow us now. Which is in fact shaking. All right, what's a skinny, eh? The last cube is somewhere in here. Hope it won't require more swimming around in this filth. I'd guess that must be the pump activator up there. But how to reach it? 
We'll need to get all three of these bridges down in order to reach the pump control. All right. So I got a one in three chance of fucking something up. Oh, look at that. Okay, what what happens here? You going up? How about you? What you got? Oh, look at it, there's one over there. So, three pedestals. Hey, you got an answer? Fun out by. Well, let's have a look, eh? Okay? Shall we? What is this guy doing here? Hey, listen. We're away from the old man now. You and I had a talk. I told you I wasn't going to mess with... I told you I wasn't going to mess with the old culture, that moral guy. So lay off, eh? Oh, shit. This isn't doing it. Okay, so what's happening? Okay, one in the middle. How about you? What you got for me? Oh, come on. You need to get all three of these bridges down in order to reach the pump control. What do you think I'm trying to do? Hey, any of you bastards? yourself hey okay so can we can we get back to the to the business around there okay so I got middle one right it can't be this one because that's gonna bring that one up and so I got to do him in the right order see look it okay nowadays all up how about this I go one that's right and now you uh-huh yeah, oh shit. Okay. First you. Well, that's just fucked up too. Oh, hey. Look it, though. Look at that. We've partitioned off the enemy. So let's get into business. Let's take care of this guy. Before we go dropping any bridges. Oh, gosh. Creating more trouble for ourselves. One at a time. Come on, go. You know you want to go. Oh shit! one we'll need to get all three of these bridges down in order to reach the pump control I know that I'm working on it okay this guy he's getting on me nerves he doesn't shut up and what he does say is like you know it's condescending it's <sighs> okay you ready how about you what you got for me? And there it is. There it is. Not. I'm not paying attention to nothing. Oh, you fucking shit. How about you? Now, your turn. Ha <laughs> ha! See, I done it. That's it. Don't touch anything else. Quickly now. I am not the puzzle. Unlocked it, I unlocked it, I unlocked the puzzle. Hello. Yeah, you got that. I'm gonna go ahead and loop. Oh, nice. And you. Oh, and you. <laughs> uh, where's the other one? Oh, he fell down the stairs. 
Oh, it's got lots of pretties. What's up now? So, what do you suppose this is for? Oh, I don't know. One of the many cubes I have obtained. Oh, shit. Now, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Look at this. Look at this. If something's blocked off, that means only one thing. It means it's a play, start, twist, laser go. Uh -huh. What those guys don't know isn't going to kill. Eh? If I get a little bit of loot from my hard work, that's okay. Oh, shit. Oh, it's guarded. Hang on. It's hard to tell which way is the front. Oh, look it. Now it's going to turn. There it goes. Which way is your front? Oh, that's your front. <laughs> that's your front, all right. Oh, shit. Oh, right to me, leg. Okay. Oh, fellas. Got myself trapped here. There we go. Go after them guys. Oh, look at this. What is that? And this? Oh, nice. And that? Oh, look at you. Oh! Some nice stuff in here. Nice indeed. Okay, let's take a look. Look at this. And I got these arrows. What can I use? Maybe those? <laughs> okay, hang on. Shit. Don't come back in here, you bastard. Don't come in here. Shit. Get out! Get out! I'm oh, getting out. Oh, it doesn't work! Why don't you work? Come on! Fuck. Alright, I'm done. Hi, fellas, what's going on? I found my way out. It was not a big deal, really, at all. And just ignore that bow. <laughs> so what's the skinny, yeah? I go down this way, I suppose. Down into the nasty. Because that's what I do. I go down into the nasty. Ugh. Of course. Of course I go down into the nasty. Alright, a uh, shadling guy is not coming, is he? I don't know me. Leave me to my business, eh? Let me do some shit solo. Oh, come on. Oh, that's just nasty. Alright, girls. Pack it in. Okay, now. This is not a great situation, but that's alright. Ah! I'm stuck. Hang on. Hang on. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay. Oh, shit. He's right there. You can see him, right? Hey. I see you. Oh. And would you not step on it? Don't step on it. Alright, come to daddy. Nice. Are we ready? Let's try this. <laughs> nice. Oh shit, it's filling up. 
<gasps> Do you have the cube? Of course I have the cube. What are you talking about? Not an idiot. <clears throat> okay. Watch out. Water's rising even higher. Oh, I see that. Hang on, hang on. What's up here? Is this where we come in? It is. Oh, we can swim, ghost man guy. Hang on. I got up here. Oh, this was right here the whole time. Look at that. Oh, I can't pick it that way. Okay, here we go. Yeah. It's a great shit in there. All right. He's swimming. That was easier than I expected. Hey. I'm glad you were here to do all the hard work. With you know, you're a real shit. Pumping pedestal. We should now have five cubes. Exactly what we need. Now we can finally see about getting those boilers started. What, you got it? Now what, do we go through here? No, doesn't look like it. <clears throat> you know, if I'd known there was going to be so much swimming now, I definitely would have asked for more money. Wait a second, I didn't ask for no money. I guess he's gone. Okay. Hang on. Oh, God. I've done some of it. All right, one here. Okay, it won't. One now. Okay, now what? Need the cube I picked up to start all the boil. Okay. Well, that just fills it up again, eh? Well, where's the one you picked Here. up? I picked up this cube for you. You know, you're difficult to work with. Shall we get on with it? And for you. That seems to have done it. Good. It took longer than I hoped, but at least it's finally done. Look out! Another steam centurion. All right. Now, if you just trust in me once, all you gotta do is trust in old Twist, and he will take care of you almost every time. However. That requires trust, which you do not have, and so you're going and stepping on me shits. Back it up, yes, good job. Back it up nice and easy. Nice and easy, there you go, see? That's right. Our twist gets it done again. I can't hear you, it's too noisy in here. How about you go up to the reading room and see what's going on now? Look at more of this coinage. See, it's only these big guys who can carry these coins. It's ridiculous. I'm going this way, okay? I'll see you 
later. Hello, love. Look at you. Look. Oh, look it. You don't even. Oh. You're just going to let old twist come right in, aren't you? Oh, look at that. No resistance whatsoever. Wow. Ooh, look at this. Well, that's worth a pretty, pretty penny, I would say. I don't know. Ugly. What you got? Stand up. All right. All right. So the pumps be running. The boilers, I mean, the boilers. Excuse me. Run the boilers. Run them boilers. All right. Where the fuck did it go now? This guy is elusive, I would say. All right. He must be up this way. I guess we're going to go find him, eh?
Hey everybody, it is I, Couch Warrior. Welcome to Couch Warrior TV on YouTube. I'm the Couch Warrior, and you are watching the continuing story of Barbarian. Uh, things are going much better tonight since the weather is cooperating. We don't have a frozen stream, so this is good. I hope that you're enjoying the show. Um, this is what I attempted to do on Tuesday, and it just simply did not work. Um, so, I appreciate your attendance. Um, just a couple of things. I made these announcements earlier in the week, but those streams are dead. So, I'm going to make them again. Got a new series that is going to be starting up here in February. Uh, this series is um, based upon... Uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. It's called The Bucket Brigade, and it features co-op play with me and the Panic Monk, my good friend Joe. I think it'll be a lot of fun. It is very casual gameplay. Uh, we're interested in digging into the rules. The game is gorgeous looking. It's a ton of fun. It harkens back to the old days of D&D. It's turn-based combat with a large party, lots of flexibility. There's even mods for it. So uh, we're going to be learning a lot about the game as we go along. It's not the first time we've played, but there's definitely a, not, a lot of things about the game that we don't know yet. All right. So if you're interested in checking out the Bucket Brigade, that is going to be starting here in February. It's going to be once a week. Right now we're talking about maybe doing this on Friday nights. We're not sure yet, but we are going to start putting uh, information about live streams related to Bucket Brigade into uh, our events schedule on the website. So if you want to go straight to the schedule, you can go to events.charactercrusade.com to find further information. And speaking of events, we have the, the grand finale of our Season 3 of Skyrim uh, Unbound, the Character Crusade Unbound Experience uh, featuring Skyrim. So uh, if you have been participating... You need to get your homework in uh, for that. If you, if you, all you got to do is make sure you've entered at least one homework throughout the season, and that will make you eligible for a drawing at the end of the season for a T-shirt. Now, if you haven't participated, in other words, from a homework perspective, you can also possibly get uh, a Draugr Logger T-shirt from Character Crusade Podcast as well. And uh, you have to do that, however, uh, by going to, you know, going to a special URL and using a special promo code. If you use that promo code, that will get you on the list for the drawing, okay? So, does anybody remember what that special URL is? All right. I know what the promo code is. But I don't know if any of you can remember what the actual URL was for Draugr Logger. Um, so I'm going to leave that out there. Um, essentially, if you listen to the podcasts, we, we advertise. We have a kind of a, a, an advertisement for our sponsors, which is Draugr Logger Brewing, Lost Barrel Brewing. Uh, every single episode. We, we post that, that advertisement. And the reason that we do that is it's kind of an enticement for you to listen in and si listen in and sign up for the drawing. And it's a way for you to earn a T-shirt without having to participate in the homework. So we're going to be giving away two T-shirts. Go, go ahead and enter it, lostbarrow.charactercrusade.com. And the promo code is Dead Beverage. Go to that website and enter the promo code Dead Beverage that will enter you in uh, a drawing for a Draugr Lager t-shirt, all right? So this Monday night is the last episode, this Monday night, all right? And then we are going to be uh, putting the podcast on hiatus for exactly a month while we plan the next season. So the podcast, podcast will be taking a break and we'll be coming back on March 4th with season four of Character Crusade Unbound. So if you'd like to get involved, we are going to be following the same formula, but coming up with some totally different criteria and brand new characters all right. So Monday night, we'll be doing the drawings for those two T-shirts and uh, two lucky viewers will be getting some free gear from Character Crusade podcast and Couch Warrior TV. OK. All right. So that brings us back to this. 
Uh, I am going to be doing a weekend stream. Uh, it will likely be on Sunday. I think Sunday is the day. Uh, and I'm going to do it earlier in the day. It'll be starting Sunday afternoon. So those of you who are elsewhere other than the United States may have a, a better opportunity to watch, I hope. Okay. So hopefully everybody's good. I see lots of uh, friendly and familiar faces in the stream tonight. We've got a pretty good crew. So let's get back to the story. Now, everything's going smoothly tonight. So the plan is that after tonight's stream is over, then I will uh, do some editing of this podcast or this uh, live stream, and it'll be launched as a video with thumbnail all in the proper stream. So those people uh, who can't watch the stream tonight can see it in the playlist stream, I guess, if you will. They'll see it in the playlist as a recorded video in the right order. And I, it just takes me a little while because I go in to YouTube and I got to lop off that beginning piece where I let everybody have time to get into the lobby and chat and all that stuff. I just cut that part off and then I re-render it. So it takes about 24 hours. All right. All right, cool. Let's get back to it. All right, so you got the book. Thank you very much. I've got it. I'm going to add it to my collection. Now what? Are we done here? Are we good? All right. What you say? Should we head out? Did you actually learn what you needed to know by reading that black book? Are you insane? I haven't read it. That's <laughs> that, then. Exactly. I'm not here to read these books, eh? Out we go. All right. Well, that was productive, eh? Real productive, like. By Malakat's toner. Where did that come from? Shit! What is he doing? What's going on? Oh shit! Oh shit! This is bad. This is real bad. I'm supposed to be the damn dragonborn. I don't know how to kill dragons. He's gonna nut. Oh, he's gonna blow my cover. That's right. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta convince him I'm the Dragonborn. Arrows. I could try some arrows. And I gotta try a poison. Something nasty, eh? Something nasty. What could I do? Something nice and nasty, eh? Okay. My God. Uh, no. That's not gonna work. Oh, this stuff is not gonna work. Gonna work. What's this? No, no, no. Oh shit. That could work. Alright. I am the mighty dragonborn. Fuck where is it? I am the mighty dragonborn. I kill. Dragons, I shoot them in the ass. Did I miss? When Mirak returns, all you bow before. I am the Dragonborn. What else I got I can use? Gotta have something nasty. Like this. Let's try that. Shit, why did I throw my bows away all this time? I should have been getting good at this. If this old man thinks I'm not a dragonborn, it's gonna be trouble. Okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. Here he comes. Gotcha! Come on! Come on! Ah, I done it. That's right. That's right. Do you ever wonder if it hurts to what? have one so ripped out like that? Who is this? Who is this? I grow ever You that can easily break a blade on the metal skin of a Dwemer construct. That was Mirak, right? Is that where you're here to show me? This Mirak? So, you think you can make it on your own then? We'll just see about that. Now I understand why he's here. So I gotta deliver this book back tomorrow, probably along with a message, eh? There's another dragonborn in town. Well, hopefully Nelov gets it. He's convinced I'm the Dragonborn. Did you actually learn what you needed to know by reading that black book? I told you I didn't read it. That's a fairly common experience, at least for those who remain coherent enough to report what they've seen. You were in Apocrypha, or at least your consciousness was. Your what are you talking about? Here, of course. You should read the book again until you reach what appears to be the end. Then you will have fully understood the knowledge it contains. I really don't know what he's talking about. All right, he wants me to read it. So we're not going anywhere till I read this book. So I'm your guinea pig is what you're saying. Fine. What's so important about this book that I gotta read it? Bring you forth at what? This makes no fucking sense. What the fuck is going on? What is this place? Shit. What is this? And what is this? And what is this slop, eh? Ugh, there's something in there. I don't want to touch it. I don't want to touch it. This doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh shit, I'm getting disoriented here. That's weird. Now I see why he wanted me to read that book. What is that? Shit. What is this? Oh, Marl's in trouble. I'm gonna kick his skinny, bony ass. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, okay, I'm get me out of here. Piece of shit. Alright, fun's over. Over. Hello? Hello? Okay, it's coming back. It's coming back. Look there. Okay, there's a brick. 
All right, girls. Let's go. Oh, I don't like them things. I don't like them. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa. Okay. Oh, good. Look. Oh, it's another book. What's this? Oh, this book's a mess, eh? Chapter 2. Okay. Oh. Oh, come on. What is this? Pages. Get out of my face. God, pages everywhere. Oh. I feel like these are going to bite me. Of course. Oh, shit. What is that? Hang on. Something's weird. The mayor's smaller, huh? All right, her mayor's fucking mora. Take yourself some Molag Bowl. <laughs> now I see your minions, you bitch. See ya. Courtesy of Molag Ball. That's right. I see your minions, you bitch. Okay, come on. Come on, get that. Get it. Get it. Get out of here. Get out of here. Up we go. Up we go. And out. Check my free. What is that? What's going on? Where'd you come from, eh? What is it? Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, there's another one. Ow. What is that? All right, you guys. Hang on. Go away. Okay, nice and quiet now. Nice and quiet. Nice and quiet. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh, these guys don't like me at all. All right, let's be nice and patient. Off you go. Off you go. Hang on. Okay. Let's check what we're doing here. Anything else that would help me here? Would this help? I don't know. Just in case. Look at that guy. You know what? He doesn't touch the ground. I don't think my traps would help. I don't think my traps would help. I think it's going to have to be all about skedaddling, eh? <laughs> oh, it's a lot of fucking stairs, I'll tell you that. Lots of stairs. Let's just move on. Oh, another one of these. 
Oh, look, there's a big boy over there. There could be a slapper in there. Watch yourself. Too likely to get slapped, eh? Come on, come on, come on. All right. Any company in here? No, not yet. Oh, there's a big boy. Now, where is it going? This way, you bastard. Don't you dare. Okay, what's over here? Something worth having? Oh no. No, nothing. You bastard. Oh, right through that stone it goes. Looks like I, I got off at the wrong stop, eh? Shit, come on. Oh, it's... God, that hurts. All right, you dumbass. I read the book and it hurt like hell. Okay. No, I didn't learn nothing except I died. I went to some strange That's place. That's a fairly common experience, at least for those who remain coherent enough to report what they've seen. You were in Apocrypha, or at least your consciousness was. Your body remained here, of course. You should read the book again until you reach what appears to be the end. Then you will have fully understood the knowledge it contains. What? Read it again? You're insane! Oh, this fucking research better be worth it. Read it again. Oh, I hate this part. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Something's wrong with me camera. So, I'm gonna reload this. Something is amiss with me camera. Load. Let's try it again. We'll see what happens this time, eh? Get on with it. Oh, I think me game's gonna crash. I do. Select you. Okay. How did they see me? Sneaky bastard. Not fucking sneaky enough, apparently. Now crash and a woot to yourself. Alright, a woot to everyone. And no crashing. Okay. So that shit was a bloody dead end. Or as I can tell. But what's that over there? It looks important, right? No, 
not important enough to get with that guy. I can see you fuckers. Shh. Gotta be looking at me for what do you suppose? Should we try a trap? What do you say? Should we try it? Yeah. Okay, why not? Come on. It's dark enough here, right? He doesn't touch the ground. This is worth some money, right? Last king of aliens. Really? Well, I'm taking that because I've been to Bruma. That could be interesting, really. I know some stuff about aliens, right? 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 Why am I here exactly? Damn it. Oh, what's that? Oh, shit. Oh, hell no. Look. Oh, shh. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nothing behind me. It's not like I can go back. All right. All right. Good boy. Moving on. Moving right on. Oh, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. And out we go. Nicely done. See you later. Shit. Right. Oh, there's slappers in here. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, shit. Oh, this place is awful. See, look, there's an invisible one right there. He thinks I don't see him, but I do. I see you. You son of a bitch. Come on, someone get on me traps. Here we go. One right here. Nice and basic. He's not taking a bait. How about this one? We're backstabbing, but where's his back? Oh, 
shit, they're pissed. They are really pissed. Nice, it's hide. Oh god, they're all coming now. Hidden. Don't look over here, you ugly sons of bitches. What are they? Look at that, right between me traps. You got damn things. Okay, enough of this. It's not gonna work. So we're gonna skirt around them. See those two up in there? They're not gonna notice me. Cause they're making sweet love. Sweet tentacle love, I guess. So I'm gonna follow these guys. They gotta know where the exit is, right? Gonna get near a slap hole. Gonna avoid them slap holes. Don't move shit. Okay, I'm found out. So we're just gonna go right through here like this. Oh hey, look. Next chapter go! is ruined. I gotta believe Mora would like this place. Look at all these fucking books. They're everywhere. And this, something tells me it's a chest. It looks odd, but it's gotta be one. My instincts tell me so. Yep, see, look it. Oh. <laughs> Done my skooma eater. I'm gonna save that for Robard. He would like that book, I bet. And a painting. Oh, I bet that's a demented looking painting. We'll take it. Oh, poison song. Poisons. I like poisons. Poisons have become my friends. Nice. Flower of death, I'm sure. Shit. This place is somewhat disturbing. Somewhat. Okay, what chapter is this? Come on. Oh, of course. It's the biggest chapter. <laughs> what? Oh, fuck. All oh, seekers of knowledge, come to me. Sooner or later. All right. Uh, who are you? I am Hermes Mora, the kind of men you of the unknown master. Oh, Fitch! You stand in my realm, mortal. Alright, this is it my first dance with you fucking gods, alright? I've been around, I've seen the goats, I've seen the cheese, alright? I've seen the spires and the chains and the spikes and the weird lights and all that shit. I'm not super impressed, alright? I've seen a lot of weird shit. So what the fuck you want anyway? You have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has obtained. 
And who's that? You are Dragonborn. <laughs> yes, like yes I am. It's right. Before you, a seeker of knowledge and power. I'm a seeker of money primarily, but listen. Uh, I'm not really into serving you monsters and all that. So. <laughs> you will serve me, will him, or not. All who seek after the secrets of the world are my servants. <sighs> I know what you want. To use your power as Dragonborn. To bend the world to your will. Ah, here then is the knowledge you need, although <laughs> you did not know you needed it. The second word of power. Use it to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. The second word? What about the first word? But this is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass me. Mirak. Oh, he's the guy you're talking about. All Mirak. right. Put the pieces Served together. <laughs> I well. get it now. And he was rewarded. I can grant you the same power as he wields, but all knowledge has its price. Right. Knowledge has a price. Okay, so let's see. All right, so what's the price? What's the price for that word, eh? Knowledge. For knowledge. Oh, shit, come on. All right, fine. The scar. scar. have withheld the secrets from me for many long years. The time has come for this knowledge to be added to my library all right well can we pick up negotiation here i'm in kind of an hurry if you don't know see uh let's see i'll find mr skull and i'll talk to him on your behalf and see what he has to say all right i know you will and then i will give you the knowledge that you seek all right, it's a deal. I will Send find Mr. The Skull. The Shaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. A shaman. Oh, so Mr. Skull is a shaman. Hello. What the shit is going on here? Okay. Gone are the days of the ordinary book, apparently. Now, all I do is find fact that books. What's this? Look at this shit he's presenting me with. How is it exactly that I can read this? And how is it a god thinks I'm the Dragonborn? I can see fooling a bunch of gullible Nords into thinking I'm the Dragonborn, but how would a god think so? And listen, eh? This ain't the first god I met. I get around, you know what I'm saying? Something's going on here. I'm a better con artist than I thought. Alright. So, I gotta find this guy named Mr. Skull, who is a, uh, what? A shaman. I'm looking for a shaman. Got it. 
that you actually learn what you needed to know by reading that black book? <laughs> Did I learn anything? Well, let's see. Uh, I learned the second word of a shout of which I do not have the first word. No wonder the Dwemer was so interested in that book. It was indeed one that Mirak used to advance his power as Dragonborn. But I assume there's some bad news. It would be unlike Hermaeus Mora to allow anyone to gain such knowledge without exacting a price. Right. Well, we want some secrets of a fella named Skull or something. Ah, what secrets could they have worth keeping from old Mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful dragonborn that ever lived. Okay, confirmed. He actually thinks I'm the dragonborn. Oh, this is working swimmingly, right? What a waste of a good specimen. Really? Yeah, that's true. Well, we're putting a goal to you, then, eh? Say, listen, when you was fighting all those bandits earlier, did you loot the bodies? The Red Mountain holds secrets. Secrets I mean to uncover. Red Mountains us, eh? You know, I've heard a similar theory. Mm. Oh, nothing. Shit, I gotta watch what I say. I wonder if a dragon could be captured alive. It now, uh, we've talked point. about this. There's no way anyone's ever gonna catch a dragon. I think we all know that to be true. Okay, well, you mosey on back to uh, Mushroom Town, where you're doing it. I'm gonna find these bodies. There's one right there. Look at you. Oh, oh, you don't have no gold. Shit. That doesn't help me. I wonder where the other ones are. Molag Ball! Oh, thank you. Oh, come on. He's got a slab of beef in a lock pick. Hmm. Maybe the rest of them washed out to sea, eh? Alright, well. Oh, hang on. There you go. And you got some. Lou, you got some gold. And you got a silver fucking mask. Look at it. Oh, that's got to be worth something, right? Of course it is. Alright, good enough. Okay, so we're going back to the mushroom, and then what you got for me? I'm telling you, mm -hmm. I could really use some rest, eh? What do you say? Let's go back, have ourselves a drink of that... Whatever that shit is, it comes in jars. Oh. Oh, that's worthless. Okay, thank gods we're not far from home. Because I am a tired bastard. Oh, look it, it's one of them bugs. Shh. It's bug hunting time. Oh, jeez, oh, it falls into pieces. Completely disassembled. Okay. Good enough. Let's go back. So, what is all this shit? A second word. A mere smora. Being some kind of servant, oh, which I'm not inclined to be. All this shit. Mirak. Who is also the Dragonborn. And I was supposed to be the false Dragonborn, but now I'm the real Dragonborn, who is not real, but is in fact a fake. Confusing himself. Through them does he speak. I 
I've no idea what's going on. All right, so the old man, he's going to take his time and he's going to mosey this shit back here. So we're going to come back fast like and we're going to go through his stuff. That's good plan, go through his things. I mean, we're still looking for stuff, right? Oh shit, I don't like that ever. Okay, gotta keep an eye out for the old man, eh? See, this is locked. Ugh, where's the key? He's got books. Books, books, books. How do I know what Mara wants? I mean, this all looks like basic shit. What's that? What's this? It's a map. Oh, it's Skyrim. Come on, come on, what do you got? What do you got? Death Brand, what is that? Ugh. Right, he's kind of a pick, I've noticed. Orker attacks. Okay, he's got lots of enchanting tables. Uh, where's your research, man? The House of Troubles. The House of Troubles? I'm gonna take that. What's this? Skooma Eater. I have that one for, for Robot. Okay, okay. What's in here? That's a stock oh, chest. What? There's no way this man has kids. Unless he's saving them up for experiments or something demented. Oh, he sleeps in here. Come on, personal things. Shit, he's here. Oh, hey. How you doing now? If you're so. going to be up here, stay out of my way. Oh, of course. What else you needs doing, eh? Verona. I'm hungry. Oh, I haven't seen Verona. Well, find her. Tell her I want apple cabbage stew with some canis root tea. Oh, All right. Oh, yeah. Verona. Verona. Where are you? You've got to help me. I conjured an Ash Guardian and now it's running amok. Oh, shit. You, why don't you destroy it? I need to keep Master Neloth distracted so he doesn't find out what I did. There is no telling what he would do to me. While you are taking care of the creature, I'll try to figure out what went wrong. Oh, God. All right. Thank you. I was hoping you would. Hurry, I'll keep Master Neloth distracted. Idiot. Oh, is that what he's talking about? Look at it. It's disgusting. Okay, all right. Oh, God. That was not great. All right, here we go. Hey, are you Verona by any chance? Damn that man. He's being totally unreasonable. What do you mean? I don't care if he's a master wizard. He can't treat me like this. What'd he do? That fetcher told me to fix his house. If I don't, he'll find a new mycologist who will. Fix his he house? It's a loyal service, and he'd just throw me out like yesterday's breakfast. All right, I'll bite. What you need to fix that fucking tower? Three tap roots soaked in the headwaters of the Harstrad River. I'm an old woman. I can't possibly make that trip. It's way too dangerous. If you get some tap roots, I'll pay you to dip them in the headwaters and bring them to me. Tap roots? Oh, that's gonna take me all over the place. Come on. Listen, have you seen Verona? She left for Raven Rock hours ago. What? 
She promised to bring me back some fresh blister wart. Where can I get this tap root? Where do you think? You have to cut it out of a spriggan. Are you Although shitty me? You can buy them from alchemists. All right. What do you exactly do for the Neloth? I am his mycologist. What he is may that? He grown tell Mithrin by himself, but I nurture it. Mushrooms and fungi are my life's work. When I saw Tel Mithrin, I knew I had to be here. I've learned so much since then. Alright. Did you grow this town? Me? No. That's Master Neloth's doing. I wasn't even born then. It's Telvani magic at its best. He brought the cuttings with him from Morrowind and used sorcery to grow them. Oh, you people are so fucked up. Okay, what can you tell me about this whole strand? Water, it's whatever to the it is. It's They seem to like to gather there. Something about the waters attracts them. There are bound to be some there. So be careful. All right, fine. All right, what, what you got for sale? I probably have some potions around here that might interest you. Or is it right? Okay. <laughs> I was kind of hoping you'd have free tap roots on you. I guess not. Okay, what you got for poisons? You got some acids. Oh, it's all so expensive. Forget it. Verona goes to Raven Rock all the time. I'm sure she's fine. Are you sure? Because it's nasty out there. I'm telling you. People are helpless, eh? And they're terrified. I'm telling you. They're absolutely terrified of this guy. Uh, let's see. What do you say we try this, eh? What would that be like? We take one of those and one of these. Okay. But if I'm going to shoot it, I'm not going to shoot it from here. I need some place to runker down where I'm safe. And it ain't safe here with me back against the wall, eh? Oh, okay, come on. Let's double back this way. Alright, you big stony asshole. Come on, spring old Jack, go! Nice. Nice, I'll take it. Okay. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh shit, that didn't do nothing. Neither did that. You can't get me up here, right? When I'm garbage with a bow, that's the truth. I never practice that shit. So. We'll go back to what we know, right? And what we know is... What? We know that this thing is dangerous, but it's rather stupid, right? Okay, so we let him get back into his false sense of security. If a creature such as this has a thing like that. Okay, and we observed last time he went up this way, right? So, let's experiment for a minute. We're going to place a trap here. Okay, now. Supposing we place another one here, All right? All right, 
easy. Right in between. Don't step on a trap. I can't rightly tell which side is his front. Okay, he doesn't come over the traps. I go into hiding, he goes back down on the traps, and it destroys him dead. If he was not dead already, I don't really understand this creature. Alright, your fucking thing's dead, hey? Alright. Now we gotta find Verona. Raven Rock. She was going to Raven Rock. Is that right? Alright, now I gotta go to slow way because. I gotta follow the path she would go on, right? Which way would she go? I really don't understand why you wouldn't travel using the buddy system here. Because this shit is nasty. Look at that. Even on my best day, I couldn't help out here. Oh, shit. I think they got her. I think that's her. Oh, I think they've done it. I think they've done it now. Hello. Got lots of fireballs, I see. Oh, I thought there was a body here. Looks like I'm just making everyone pissed off now. gonna find her. Okay. Well, I thought she was on the ground there. I was mistaken. Oh, what are these guys? That's not Verona, right? You're not Verona. Go ahead as you were. Guide me. Huh. All right. Well, I got to go back to Raven Rock anyway because I got to see about some of these tap roots. I'm not going to fucking try to take on some spriggins if I can help it. Alright. Travel time. See if we can shave some time off this disaster of epic proportion. Right? was quick. Modin Veleth, Captain of the Redoran Guard, at your service. That's very special. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Uh. 
Otherwise, Hi. We'll answer to the Looking for any potions? Ingredients? Glory. Alchemical you supplies? Have you seen a Verona here by that chance? Alright, fine. You go on in the yard. Uh, Take a look. Tap roots. Looking for tap roots, if you don't mind. And you got none. What good are you? Remember, Damn I have it. plenty of potions and ingredients if you're ever in the market. Oh, I'm in the market, but you don't have nothing. Ugh. Now I gotta do it a hard way. Damn it. Fine. I gotta find this river. River. So I'm gonna find a river, and I'm gonna follow it. Wait a minute. Okay, it's not going to be here, right? This part, this is all burned out and full of shit. It's going to be somewhere else. I'm thinking I head for where the trees are green. I mean, a Spriggan's not going to want to hang out on this shit, right? Even I know that. Okay, yeah, look at this greenery. Must be my lucky day. Oh, disgusting. What's all this? What is... Oh, shit. I've got them gloves on. Oh, that's not good. Let's switch it back, eh? There we go. That's nice. Look at that. What is it? Who cares? at you. Look how cute he is, eh? Hello. 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 Okay, anyways. What's this? Oh, a pie. It's reasonably fresh. I'll take it. And gems in a lockbox, eh, pretty? Come on, let me give you a little tickle. Oh, that's nice. Oh, shit, what was this? Mine. Oh shit. Hey, sorry, friend. That's too bad. I won't take your gold. Oh, there's lots of gold in there. Hmm. Can I. Oh, there's another big one right now. In your pockets. No. Oh, it's blocked in. I can't get it. Okay. River. Going up into the green. That's what I'm doing. Up into the green. In search of a river. What probably doesn't exist. This way. Hello, Old traveler. You have no business here. We mean you no harm, but be on your way. All right, got no argument with that. I would ask for directions, but you don't look too friendly. So. Holy hell. Okay. That's not promising. I need some flowing water. That is what is going to get me to where I need to go. Nope, look at this. 
nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Oh, here we go. There's a lake. Hey, Foxy. Hang on, you hear it? Okay, here we go. Now we're on to something. She said the source, though. Is the source the lake? Or something else? There's water here too. Okay. This could be the place. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, hang on. Hang on. That was a spriggin. Sure as shit, right? Alright, I guess we try some traps again. Alright, now we try to bait these suckers. Not close enough. No, oh, it's a wily bastard. Try another one. Okay, come on. Oh, it's not enough. Come on. You know you want to kill me. If I was you, I would want to kill me. I mean, look at me. I'm disgusting. Can't seem to entice her. She's too smart. All right, moving on. Got another trap down here. Come this way. This is a nice one as well. I'm telling ya, it's good stuff. Good stuff. 
Well, there's a little bit of a problem now. You run into me trap. And down you go. I'm so sorry. Let me reach up in now. Uh, yeah. There's one. Alright, you're coming with me, sweetheart. Now. This is the headwaters. Okay. Fine. Let's grab this guy. Okay. Now. Couch Warrior. You're going to want a quick save at this point. All right. I can do that for you. It's done. Thank you very much. Now, let's proceed with all caution. Possible caution. deep is this? Can I put a trap here? It occurs to me I should have placed it behind me. Right? Yes, see? That's a problem. know you want it. Okay. All right. Great. Oh, and you tripped it again. Okay, sweetheart, come here. Oh, you god, you weigh a ton. Ugh. Ah, where is it? Oh, god. I mean, up to me elbow. There it is. No, that's just sap. Shit. What's this? Helmet. Oh, God, look at all this. A coif. I'm sorry, but that seems obscene to even say. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. You and I can no longer see each other. I got a problem with your coif. Oh, God. What an awful word that is. Okay, I'm picking that up. Oh, man. All that work for only one tap root? This is the worst. Well, I know where I need to go now to soak them. But, I'm going to freeze me ass off. seen any more spriggins. Where's the fox? You seen a spriggin? Hang on. Wait, something's over here. Oh, 
is that? What no spriggin? I think it may be just an asshole. This is a lot of work. Ah, uh, it's a fucking bandit. He's sucking about Skooma, right? Am I right? You know, I'm seriously thinking at this point, after this job is over, I'm going back to Bruma for vacation. Oh, you had enough now, have you? I'm sorry, did that hurt? Serves you right for taking a fucking pot shot at me, eh? What you got? Is this one? Oh, you got a nice pearl. I'll take it. A face come on. Alright, well. That's enough for today. We're going to have to give this whole sprigging thing rest. And this Verona thing and all that shit. Honestly, what I ought to do is take what I know now and take this book and go back and talk to Marl. Right? I mean, I've done a lot. It seems to me I'm entitled to take me prize now. What is that? So I think that's the plan. It's time for us to go back to Raven Rock and catch the next ship. Back to the Carpathian Inn. Go talk to that crazy fucking mage and see what the scoop is with all this extra information he claims to have on Mercer. Because ultimately, I don't mind bailing on this Nelov. He hasn't fucking paid me a red cent. What was that? Sounded familiar. Like I heard that voice somewhere. Okay, so... I think that's what we're gonna do. Back to Raven Rock we go. I've done my job. You know, it occurs to me. Now I've got a second book. Moral doesn't know I have this book. I bet you I could show him this book and say, Hey, you bastard. You want this book? Come and buy it. Hey, fellas. What's going on? I bet I could sell it. Yeah. I you could make a shit ton of money off it. Don't you think? Probably. Well, that's... Certainly something for consideration. I can use it as a bargaining chip. That's right. Say, hey, you old codger. How about here's your book and I raise you a book. Hey? Huh? Seems like a good idea. So I'm going to do that. This son of a bitch. There's a guy over here, just every time I come past, slaving away. Hey, what are you doing? What's all this? You got a lot of digging to do, friend. There's something you need. I'm saying, what's the matter with you? We're sitting here digging for no reason. With me? What's the matter with you? 
Sorry, I've just had a lot of hawk-faced cowards coming by to mock my efforts. Ah, uh, it probably can't hurt to tell you. You look mostly honest. <laughs> uh, of course I do. I'm a dragonborn. Sidaris, out of Morhold. Right. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interests of obtaining some rare antiquities. The relics of Arzador. Relics. But this whole thing became a disaster right quick, let me tell you. <laughs> All right, I'll buy it. So what happened to your excavation? You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things to go easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Buried in the ash, like most other things on this blasted island. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Who knows how much to reach the door. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can dig. All right. So, why not hire some miners then? You think I've got that kind of money? No, I only get paid on delivery. Can't afford to go out of pocket for a thousand septums on this. Takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. Huh. A thousand septums. He said a thousand septums? It's hardly nothing. All right, listen. What's this treasure? Tell me more about this treasure. I like knowing about treasure. You ever hear of Azador? Of course, everyone else. He was the first great Nord enchanter, maybe even the first human to master elven methods. His best work was buried with him, though. A set that my patron calls the relics are supposed to be down in his tomb. Now, they're old, and they're powerful. A combination like that makes them pretty valuable to certain people. And I happen to know certain people. All right. So, what's this about your patron? I mean... Who's supposed to be paying to do this? And what, who is it you're getting this stuff for, exactly? You're kind of tight-lipped, you know, friends. Listen, I'll tell you what. I will take care of your excavation woes, but in exchange, you got to drop this other partner you got. No way. We can't split the... We can't split the loot. It just can't be done. All right? So I'll slip you alone, all right? You do your excavation, you hire some real miners, and you drop this patron. And you and I team up what you say. What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We can sort out the details of our little arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the dig if you can manage the coin. Do you have the gold? <laughs> Are you joking? Of course. Mm, it's all here. Well then, looks like I have a good bit of work to start on. I'll head back to Raven Rock and round up some diggers. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. That's right. Soon. You get your grey ass digging, I'll get me green ass back to Skyrim. Well, that could be an interesting venture. It's only a thousand septums, right? What's a what's a hurting it? All right, it's a done deal. Ugh. We just book passage now.
Hello, friend. I need to go back to Skyrim. <laughs> Can't say I'd mind heading out of here. Uh, I still need to get paid, of course. Of course. Here you go. Here's your money, friend. Have at it. Casting off.
This is a long fucking trip. I need a rest. But I ain't gonna rest until I understand what's going on with Musa. That bastard Robard Graves claims that Mercer's not a threat. That somehow he's not gunning for me no more. How is that possible? How is he not sitting back there at the guild, all fat and sassy, wondering when I'm going to walk back in the door? I don't see how that's possible. He had me down. He stubbed me. So what happens? That makes no sense. If I was Mercer, I'd be on top of the world, Wait. right? I know you. Carl I is on the run. Me. An obvious rival in up and coming thief is dealt with. So why go into hiding? Fucking goat. Get out of here. Oh, they got a real goat problem here. Fucking things like they hang out here. Oh, I wish I could stay here. It's always booked. Uh, good evening. Hey, is the old duffer upstairs? I suppose it's disrespectful. I feel like everyone who lives here is going to be in his pockets, right? Are you here to learn? Or are you just wasting my time? You're all dicks here. Hey, Moral! Oh, come on. Oh shit, I thought that was him. Look at his outfits. Look at the shit he's got. Oh god. Why is it I'm not robbing this guy? Look at that. He's got a bust of the. <laughs> he's got a bust of me we'll in reality. Shit. In kitchen. I hate cats. Hey. Oh, Moral. What you doing? Hey. What's going on? Listen, I got some stuff for you. We should probably talk terms. That is excellent, young man. I have been waiting for your return, so what have you learned exactly? Well, it would seem the man's got all kinds of stuff going on. He's been experimenting on his stones, kind of, uh, I don't know, like he calls them art stones, right? And then he's got black books. Like this one, like the one you sent me. Look, I got another one. Oh. This is excellent. He has a black book, you say? <laughs> oh, Nelov. That is enterprising for a man a thousand years old. Shit. Well, I suppose I owe you an explanation then, do I not? Well... Settle in, young man. I'm going to tell you a tale. I'm going to tell you a tale of, um, I don't know, enterprising betrayal, if you, if, if you will. So, listen up. All right, I'm ready. Lay it on me. What's going on with Mercer? Well, Mercer is, in fact, on the run. I think Robard has already told you so. Well, I understand that. But how is he on the run? Why is he running? Well, it's because he has officially been outed to the guild. 
out into the guild. What do you mean? Well, because Murtha was stealing money from the guild. Stealing money? How do you know this? Well, <laughs> one cannot work in the basement of a man's house building secret rooms and traps and treasure hiding places and escape routes without hearing a thing or two. It didn't take me long to realize that all the infrastructure we were building was for something. And then he slipped up. One day over tea, when we were talking about the excavation, he let something slip from his pocket. Really? What was it? Let's just say it was a Daedric artifact of extreme power and it didn't take me much research to figure out exactly what it was. And once I understood that, I knew what he had planned. Oh, is that right? Well, what did he have planned then? The man was using the device to build the guild of as much money as he could. And the reason for us building the tunnel was simply to secure his escape. His plan was to take money from the guild, hide it below his home, and when it was all gathered up, abscond with it all at once. Is that right? Are you sure? Oh, I'm certain. I'm absolutely certain. Who let the cat down? What's so funny? How are you certain of that? Because he failed. That's why. Failed? So, what? Did the guild catch him? Oh, no. Not really. I simply waited until he had pilfered all the money, had it in storage, and when the time presented itself, thanks to you, I outed him to the guild. You did? You outed him to the guild? Why? What interest did you have in that? Well, I'd already been paid. And so, outing him to the guild put him on the run. Didn't it? I still don't understand. Oh, come, boy, put the pieces together. Where do you think all the money went? No. You took it. You took all of Thieves Guild's money. Oh, I did. I took every single septum. My little blue friends loaded it in barrels, and we rode it on a cart right out of the city, under the guards' noses, and under the very noses of the guild members themselves. So, let's just say my research is very well funded at the moment. Hmm. Well, you can't keep that money. It belongs to the guild. And besides, I'm supposed to be running the guild now. I need that money back. Oh, it's far too late for that. I've spent it all. What? You spent all the money? I don't know how much money was in there, but it was thousands of septims. How could you spend it all? Oh, come now. I split it. Well, I didn't quite split it evenly. I gave 30% of it to Mr. Graves, who helped me with some of the logistics and all. And I believe his money is gone too, so you may, not, you may as well not ask him. His is gone. What did he spend it on? Oh, he gave some of it, well, the lion's share of it, to the Silverbloods, in which he used it to purchase a controlling interest in the mines. So now he actually owns the mines, eh? It is a cash cow, in case you haven't heard. And what did you do with your money? Oh, I used it to fund research and various things. Various things? You funded various things to the tune of thousands of septims, did you? How the hell am I supposed to go back and rebuild a guild as guild master, as you say, with no money? Well, young man, I've come to understand that you, in fact, are loaded. You expect me to use my personal money? To run the guild? 
I don't see why not. I put my personal money into this place you see before you. Right? The Institute of Prodigious Illumination. Your money, the Thieves Guild's money, has gone to pay for research and education and, uh, I don't know, research that could possibly save everyone in Skyrim and beyond. You should be proud. You should be uh, considered um, a hero, actually. A fucking hero. That's what you're saying. Yes. You, sir, are a philanthropist. I think you should look at it that way. That's the most favorable thing I can think of. <laughs> so, no worries. Your money is built and well spent. So, off you go then. You have your information. I have the books. Uh, we're good. We're even, I'd say, don't you? This is what I paid for. This is what I'd done all that work for to find out you robbed me. Oh, come boy, I didn't rob you. I robbed the guild. Bit of a difference. Well, you're taking money out of me pocket now because I gotta finance a guild on me own. Oh, well, you'll get over it. Think about how quickly you make money. You wouldn't believe how profitable this inn is. Simply invest your funds in, I don't know, a legitimate business. Make some money. It, it, in no time, you'll make up the difference. Now, I would like to ask you to leave because I have work to do. And frankly, this conversation is beginning to annoy me. I suspect you don't want to annoy me. Twist. All right. I can take a hint. Son of a bitch. That old conscious son of a bitch. Look at him, he's fucking smug. Look at him. Smug bastard. Took it all. He conned Mercer. And now Mercer's on a run. Don't go to Red Scent. I don't see how Mercer's gonna survive. He went on all that effort, spent all that money to steal everything. Now he's got nothing. I've got nothing. Now it's got nothing! Well, fuck. I'm gonna go back to Riften. I'm gonna find Kolaya. Before she walks into that hornet's nest. Oh, this is right fine. Now I'm really stewing in my own juices. How am I going to rebuild the guild? If he's gone... Oh shit, here it comes. You guys take care of that, I'm busy. I'm just a morsel. Eat yourself a mammoth. There you go. Get the fuck out of here. Not gonna lie. I'm right sick of all these intrigues and whatnot. Alright. Well, what have I got to work with? I know the story. I already know the money's gone. Hmm. I don't know where Mercer is, fucking goat. Get out of here. Piece of shit. You there, traveler! Ah, Over go here. fuck yourself. I'm busy. Okay. Kolai is trying to get in good for some reason. I don't know why. Okay. Now, I know what he's been building underneath the house. Right? And I got some ideas about the layout. Eat that goat. Okay, so, I'm probably not going to find Mercer. That's probably just fucking done now. However... However, what? Oh, 
Oh well. Oh come on, I earned all this money, I had it stashed. It was all good, everything was great. And then the old codger comes along and fucks it up. I gotta say, it was brilliant though, if I'm being honest. Which is something I'm not inclined to do very often, but in this case, I gotta say, it was a great con. It was damn fantastic con. Now it puts me in a shitty position. Oh god. Look at it, it's pointing its ass at me. Get out of here. Come on. It lost. Fucking goat. God. Can nothing go right? Alright, well the guild can't pin this on me, obviously. Everyone should know then it's Mercer if he's been outed, right? So that's good. I'm still going to be on a hook for that money. On account everyone thinks I'm going to be the next guildmaster and all that bullshit. Sorry fellas. <laughs> I wonder what this Daedric item was, right? What kind of Daedric item does he have that gets him in and out of places and like that? And how does Marl find the time to do research on it? And what sorts of books does he have in his collection that he can find out that information? There's a lot of shit I don't understand. Alright. Well... We gotta play this smart. I don't wanna get me throat cut. Don't wanna get me throat cut. Not today, not today. Here the guards are gone. Okay. Here we go. Hey fella. Wait. I know you. Oh, shut your face. You do not. Oh, you follow twist. Okay, look at that. See? That's the contraption I was talking about. Sure is shit. Marl built that shit. Just on a lock. Let's see what fucking happens. Hello, what's going on? Yeah, they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Who's that effect? Or something. In the right. Old sure. I consider joining up myself. Shh. God damn it. I'm not going to stop until I figure this shit out. That's a bad sign right there. If they locked it, that means they're onto something, right? I keep feeling like this is going to come back on me somehow. But how can it? I didn't do nothing, right? Okay, alright. Well, hopefully Carl I is not getting skewered right now. Now 
how you pay for that thing. Well, that was someone after me. Probably sent my fucking Mercer. Sounds like the low lives took care of it, eh? All right, here we go. Here we go. Deep breath. Calm your nerves. Okay, twist. Great. She is. I'm glad you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? I don't know. What if Mercer's in there? He can't be, right? Then we show them Gallus's journal and hope for the best. Remember, we have proof and all he's got is his word. All right, let's go. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Well, I think you can expect a lot of fucking mad thieves is what you can expect, eh? Real mad. I'm coming. Come on. Hi, everyone. What's going on? Okay. Ladies first. Shit. Hello. Damn good oh shit. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been... No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now, what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years. Right under your noses. Oh shit. Only one way Here it comes. What the last Here it comes. True. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bree. What's in that book? What did he say? It says Mercer's been stealing from a vault. Oh god. For years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Oh God, we're fucking screwed if this goes sideways. Look at this place. What's she on about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Come on, let's get it over with. Shit. And now it's fucking empty. But a vault still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. Oh, it's fucking empty. It's fucking empty. Shit. Shit. It's gone. Fuck. Everything's gone. Get oh, God. I can't believe it. What's happened? Oh, my God. I can't believe this. The gold. It's yours. It's all gone. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Bex, put it away, right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right there. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. He's Don't not coming. He's in the fucking wind, is what he is. Holy shit, Marl. Fuck. You took it all. 
Oh no, wait. We've got three potatoes. Fuck. Okay. All right. Okay. So, boss, what's the next move, eh? Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. All right, fine. What I learned is Mercer killed Gellis, not Carlia. How's that? I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? Well, uh, there's an organization called the Nightingales. What? Nightingales? Yes. But I always assumed they were just a tail. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. No. Was there anything else she told you? Listen, the Nightingales are real. I've got a soul to prove it. Uh, and she was behind that Golden Girl thing, but you probably figured that out, right? Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? No, that's it. Then I have an important task for you. Oh shit, what's I need that? you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Okay. Oh, is that a fact? He has a house in Riften? I do not know that. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Rift Wheeled Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Okay, I'll take care of it, and don't worry telling me where it is. I'm sure I'll find it eventually. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information, and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Oh. Okay, it's one of them, eh? So tell me, uh, to your knowledge, what all is missing from the vault, eh? Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Plans for what? Before Mercer took over. Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. Alright. So... If you had a theory on how he could have opened a vault door without the keys, like say alone. What would you say to that? I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, Shit. it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Alright. Hey, listen. I got a question for you. I heard something about an old guy living in a rat way. Yeah. I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens, paying us good coin for nobody to know about it. Is that a fact? Huh. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to lose anyone else to that madman. I think I know someone who'd pay good money for that information. Okay. Well... Let's hit the brandy. There you go. Wheeled manner, it is. Shit. And double Every shit. He emptied the vault. Right from under our noses. Oh, he wasn't alone. He wasn't alone. Right. Better suit up, eh?
What am I missing, eh? What am I missing? Empty the ball. I gotta find Vex. Maybe she knows something about this place and how to get in. Stabbed in the back. It's like the dog rubbing hey. all over again. Vex. If I see Frey, I'll pluck his eyes from his skull with my bare hands. Do you know anything about how to get into Mercer's place? What's going on between you and Brick? Anything at all? How dare you? Shit. While you're in there, help yourself to anything you do this to me. Hey, 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 sorry. I just get jealous when I hear rumors about you. She's That's no all they help. Are. Rumors. So quick. Brynjolf. I can't believe this is happening, lad. What's the best way to get in there? Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. All right. I've looked at it. It doesn't look easy to access. No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. Well-placed? What's this watchdog? Huh. That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well. Oh, is that right? Well, I talked to her a minute ago and she didn't say nothing. Come on. Hey. It's one thing to say. You know about Vold, eh? In case Frey comes back. Make it fat. That pig. Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. So, I want to get on his good side, eh? Vald, good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. So I could buy him often. Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. Well, you got a point While there. While you're in there, help yourself Dirt. to anything in Frey's you take out the trash like I asked. Don't yeah, worry, I will. The lake, like you said. All right, well, well I guess that's something. Let's get this shit done. I can't believe. Hey, bugger off, eh? Trying to work here. Some of us are real fucking thieves, eh? What 
What am I missing? Do I really have to go talk to Maven about this? Fucking serious? Right, we find Maven then, eh? Keep me eyes peeled. I wonder if she'll even talk to me since we've seen each other at the party. It wasn't exactly my finest moment, as it were. Just get out of here. Fine. We find another way. I've never seen me all this upset about anything. The city really gets to You're right, bring the old Wow, well he was. You flopping piece of shit.
I know I heard something. Where am I? Do you spouse? Do another span in that stinking girl. You flopping piece of shit. All of you. and fucking quiet. To the owner of Rift Wield Manor, I'm not accustomed to working under these conditions of secrecy. But your generous compensation for the inconvenience was more than adequate to complete the project. Both the balcony ramp and the floor mechanism were interesting projects, and I hope you'll find them functioning to your surprisingly specific specifications. If you should have any further need of my talents, please call on me again. Sign the false name. I reckon that's smart. Right. Let's check this basement first. Junked up, eh? Spoiled food, nothing here, right? So. Alright, Mercer. What you got?
got this. Fuck you in your trap, Smarl. Fuck you. Oh, God, are you kidding? This I can see. Certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from Castle Dower to its final destination. But according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the portcullis, unlock the armory door, and break into the dwarven puzzle. Locked chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. I've left your cut in the usual drop spot. And might have another job for you soon. Take in that. And look at that. It's a plan. It's something. Sneak by 20. Bows deal 20% more damage. Increase poison resistance by 25. God, that's a sweet ring. What's this? Can't break that glass. Do wish I had my glass cutter. Gotcha. What else? Look at all this shit he has. Crazy. And right into the ratway. Oh shit. Do you see that? A thermal are down here already. Someone else is going to want to know this, eh? I got shitloads of information I could sell right now.
All right, Breen. This is what I got. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any I don't think that's going to do you no good. Any luck on your end? He wasn't there, but I found his plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus' pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Alright, well, then we have to stop him, right? Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Alright. Until next we meet, Lyon. Now, lad, Carlia said it was important. I promise you, all your questions will be answered. You just bring your. The time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I last, but I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brignol. Mercer is a Nightingale, an agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing. And an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. Standing stone. What's this all about? I'm preparing to leave for the standing stone. What is it? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for a good evening. That concludes episode 12 of Barbarian. Uh, hopefully I will see some of you again for the continuation of this story on Sunday. All right, everybody, have a great and wonderful weekend. If you'd like to support this channel, please feel free to do so. I appreciate all the support I can get. You can go to patreon.charactercrusade.com and throw a little support my way. Remember that I will be releasing some mods for Patreon supporters. This is only on a temporary basis and on a rotating basis. So if you would like to contribute a dollar or more, I will be releasing NPC mods. The first one will be Robard Graves to be released on February 11th. Uh, through the 25th. It's a fire sale. And then we'll be moving on. Thanks, thanks everybody for attending tonight and for all of your support. And I will catch you later this weekend.